Um, so, uh, so for years you've been buying stuff at the thrift store and you've been coming home and you've been saying, um, yeah, this is worth, uh, I bought it for two bucks and this is worth, uh, 90. Yeah. And I would say, yeah, but you'll never sell it. So what's the point? <laughs> it's the value of things. Well, okay. So anyway, and, uh, and, uh, So what did you do? So I, I said, uh. I said, you know, if you're really going to make a big deal about that, then you should buy stuff that you don't care about that's all that is valuable. Okay, to for what? So, so that way you could sell it. Okay, so Scott issued a challenge that I could not go to the thrift store and purchase things solely for the purpose of selling them. Yeah, right. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess. Okay, so and what did I do? <laughs> You bought a bunch of stuff that you don't care about with some stuff you do care about. Right. That tends to be more valuable than the stuff you don't care about. I, I didn't follow that. But anyway, so this is what I did. I went to the stores. Um, I went to the uh, First Presbyterian Church um, thrift store and I went to the Goodwill and I purchased items that I'm going to put up for sale. One, to prove a point that I can buy stuff for the purpose of selling it. And two, to show you that you can also make a profit with the stuff that you buy at the thrift shop. Okay, so this is what's going on, right? Um, most of the time I go to the thrift store and I bring back stuff that I really like and really want. Um, and I look at it in terms of what the value is, but it's true that it stays on the shelves and I have no intention of selling it. So there was a challenge, right, which talked about that issue that I couldn't go to the store, buy stuff for the purpose solely of selling it and making a profit. And I'm taking on the challenge because I always welcome a new challenge. And this is actually helping me because it's um, feeding my thrifting habit and it's also um, bringing an income. Okay, so I want to show you how you can go to the store. Um, your thrift store in your area, your antique shops or whatever. Well, antique shop, they tend to mark up things to the actual value of it. Uh, maybe a little bit under, sometimes they're way over. Um, but you know what I mean, right? Your little um, garage sales and, um, and rummage sales at your church and your little basement sales at your community center and, you know, whatever. Um, you're gonna find stuff that's sold for a very, very small price, but when you check on it later on, whether you go on eBay or Etsy or the internet in general, you find out that, holy smokes, this is actually worth X amount of money. So we get all happy, we come home and we're like, hey, look, I bought this for two bucks and it's worth $90, right? Um, but most of us don't do anything about it, but there's some people who make a living out of that. They actually constantly go um, to flea markets, to antique shops, to garage sales, um, they go on eBay, they go you know to a thrift store, Goodwill, Salvation Army, Willing Hearts, all of those um, little mom and pop shops out there that sell you know junk basically and that's all they do. They mark it up and they sell it on eBay and that's what they do for a living. They make a profit of the stuff they sell. So what I did is that I uh, gave myself a budget under 40 bucks and you'll see I'll spend on the because I did a spreadsheet, okay. I spent uh, $38.93 and I'm going to show you what I got for that and I'll show you the spreadsheet, how much I can get for it based on similar items sold on eBay for X amount of money um, and I'll give you a little tour of what I got and a little bit of history on the items and then um, that'll be it. And then in the link below you'll have uh, my eBay shop which I probably had linked before if you're interested in some items. So let me get started. So what I did is that I have a list here of all of the items um, that I am selling. I'll attach the picture later on. This is the purchase price. I have the purchase location, the possible resale value right here, and then um, with the possible profit, okay. And then I have the date listed, the asking price, the profit if sold at asking price, 
And then I'll have a column here for sold, yes or no. When was it sold? Number of days of the market, price sold, and actual profit. Yeah, I was uh, um, very industrious. And it's uh, Acme Acquisitions and Resell. Which is a, and uh, everything you see here is the boxes and stuff for, um, you know, shipping and whatnot. So uh, it's a silly name. I'm just using that. It's not a company. Um, you know, just for the purpose of his trading. So let's dive into the stuff I got and I'll tell you a little bit about the items and what they sell for on eBay. And then after that, I'll tell you how much I could possibly make and in terms of profit, minimum and maximum profit. Okay, so this is item number one. Um, I paid $3 for this at my thrift store and um, I was pretty happy about it. You know I love corning wear, but this is not the design that I collect. I collect the um, Spice of Life pattern. This is the blue cornflower pattern. So it was an easy one to purchase for me because this is not something I collect, but I kind of know the value of it. So this is a roaster um, that they used to sell and most of the time, on eBay, you're going to find it um, with just the platter, not the roasting pan that goes on top, and definitely not with the tray or the stand. And I got it for three bucks with the whole thing. It's in excellent condition. It just does have a little bit of scratches here from the metal, which is normal. There is no chips or crack. You can clearly see Corningware platter made in the USA um, in the back. Um, P19, I guess that would be um, the reference number for it. And again, this one came with the tray, okay, which is really, really cool. Now, if this had been in Spice of Life, I would have kept it for myself. But again, I paid three bucks for this. Now, I went on eBay and some of the platters by themselves I've sold for $15 or more. Uh, I've seen a platter with the metal tray sell for $25 and none of them had the actual stand. So I'm going to try to sell it um, for maybe $30, bucks, see if I can make a profit of uh, $27 off of that. So that's item number one. Here's item number two. Um, this is a sexton pewter plate. Those are uh, hanging plates. They used to be very popular in the 60s and the 70s. This one is a part of a series of two where you have a young lady praying at the table. And of course it has the Lord's Prayer on um, you know, around it that says, uh, give us today our daily bread. There's another one where it's a boy and the boy is facing the other way. Um, I paid 99 cents for this and this is again a Sexton 1972 USA. Now these don't sell for a lot. Um, they usually sell for $2.99, $3, $4. I've seen one sell for $7.88, something like that. So this is one of those that's going to be like a small profit. But again, I paid under a dollar for it. So even if I sell it for five bucks, um, I still make a $4 profit off of that. So that's number two. Number three is this one right here. And that, again, I paid three bucks for it at my thrift shop. And that is a true vintage Tupperware. It's actually the first Tupperware I ever touch because um, I never had any. And this is a complete vegetable dip set. So you cover it like this. You put the... Um, um, Actually, I think there's supposed to be a, um, a dish that goes in here, but you can put any kind of dish, it doesn't matter. So you put the dip in here, and over here you put all manner of vegetables, your carrots, your celery, your tomatoes, your raw uh, cauliflower, raw broccoli, you know, whatever. Um, and that's basically a party tree. And this one, again, I paid three bucks for it, and I have seen it sold on eBay. The maximum I've seen it for price was 25 bucks. So if I sell it for 25 bucks, that's a $22 profit. Um, even if I sell it for just 10 bucks, that's still $7 profit. So that's that. This, I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, these are Gobel West 
Germany and they are pewter um, candelabras, single one. They are in very good condition. I don't know how old they are. I'm going to assume that they have to be vintage, probably 60s, 70s, not sure. Um, they have been used because there's a little bit of wax left over here, but I'm going to clean them up. And I paid six bucks for those. I'm going to try to sell them for 12. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen any like this on eBay or Etsy. So I really don't know whether I can sell them for more. We'll see. I'm taking a gamble on that one. Now this one, I already put it up for sale actually. Um, this, the receipt, the little sticker is gone, but I paid $3.99 for this. And this is a Fenton uh, goldenrod melon shape with the hobnail beading right here. Um, this is super vintage. They made it only in 1956, the later part of 56. And the reason why they did that and only made it for five or six months is because they couldn't get the color, the yellow color here, standardized enough so that everyone they produce would have the exact same color. Some of them came out more amber than others. Some of them came out more canary than others. So Fenton decided to discontinue this particular type of faces and they only made seven items seven different shapes out of those that's it usually fenton has like a whole line of things within a design um this one they only made seven so there's a tiny one there's the medium one there's a tall one there's a tall fluted one i think there's a ball um and a platter i'm not sure but i paid 3.99 for it and some people have been able to sell it on ebay in upwards of 75 dollars um i've seen one actually sell for 90 something so i'm putting it up this one for 40 and i'm gonna see how much i'm gonna sell it for because no matter what i paid 3.99 for it i would keep something like this but that's the old sophia but the sophia taking on the challenge is not going to keep that one i'm going to sell this one um so again that's on the ebay shop it's a very pretty vase i like it this is a Sadler, James Sadler, Staffordshire uh, teapot. Uh, it's vintage. This one I paid $4.99 for it at Goodwill. It's in excellent condition. There is no chip, no crack. I'm going like this. There's nothing. I don't think it's ever been used. Usually the spot here is the one that gets uh, a little chip. No chip there. There's no chip here at the bottom. Again, I paid $4.99 for it. It's numbered, right, um, and signed, and it's got the gold on it with berries, and this is all hand-painted. Okay, so paid $4.99, and those, I haven't seen this particular one selling on eBay, but I did see it, um, but I did see a similar teapot with a different design multiple of them and they were all selling for over 30 bucks um most of them for 39 dollars so 4.99 investment if i can sell it for let's say 35 dollars that's a 30 bucks profit right um so that's this item okay then we found these uh these are norman rockwall plates and they are by gorm and you see that they have a number issue on them uh, they were part of a collection. I'm not sure what year, 1976. Okay, there you go. This one is called the Marriage License. And then this one is the Triple Portrait. And there was a whole series of those, but I only picked two. Um, because they were $3.99 each, and I'm not sure whether or not I can make a profit. Some people, I've seen somebody sell this one for $150. There's no way uh, anyone is going to buy that for $150. So I don't know what that person was thinking. But I'm hoping I can sell it for close to 20 bucks, uh, considering I spent four bucks on each. So, yeah, the two plates. Maybe I can make 40 bucks off of that, minus the uh, uh, eight dollars. So maybe I'll make um, 32 bucks profit. Here's another item. This was 
see the price right here and all of those I gotta wash by the way before I put them up this is an oven proof Otagiri Japan 1.5 quart and it still has the sticker right here now if you like vintage stuff you probably know by uh, um, that lately that mushroom pattern not necessarily this particular mushroom pattern but mushroom pattern for the kitchen has been really really popular in people seeking vintage stuff um, there's a set of canisters that everybody is fighting over um, on Etsy and, and on eBay and this is part of the 1960s type of dishware that was coming and pottery and stoneware that was coming out of Japan there was a lot of that stuff on the market in the 60s and the 70s this one however has um, a hairline right here uh, I don't know if you can see the hairline so it's not necessarily compromised as um, as an item I would not put it in the oven but for somebody who collects those whether they collect the um, Otagari wear or if they collect the mushroom pattern or vintage uh, stuff they may just want to purchase it for display only I think it's beautiful personally uh, and again I paid $2.99 for it so I'm hoping that maybe I can get um, 15 20 bucks for it because of the hairline more if it was not damaged this one item here is pretty interesting this is an ashtray uh, from a vintage casino and uh, you can see it right here it says Bailey's um, Park Place Casino Hotel okay people are selling those and actually getting eight bucks for those on eBay right now but I have the original uh, base for it so I'm hoping I can sell it for way more and this one was $2.99 so I don't know I'm picking stuff random just to see if I can make a buck off of it right okay and then the last item is this one this is a Konica uh, C35 camera and it comes with the case which most people don't have when they sell those they don't have the case um, the camera is in really really good condition it still has the strap um, it works right it still has the cap a lot of them don't have the cap the um, all of the um, components here are in really really good shape it's super clean it's not even dusty on the inside and I know a little bit about cameras so I did check it and uh, the shutter does work well it's got a nice fluid mechanism to it I mean this is really a nice camera but it's 35 millimeter and um, nobody uses those but there's a ton of people out there who collect um, cameras I paid are you ready for that three bucks I paid three bucks for this at my first Presbyterian uh, shop and guess what people have been paying $59 for this one on eBay that was the maximum I saw uh, I think I can get 20 bucks for that so if I make a $17 profit not too bad right so that's what I got let's look at my spreadsheet and how much money I'm hoping to make with all of this stuff so you gotta remember I'm only doing this as a challenge okay I'm not going to make a business out of it unless of course then if I really really make a huge profit then I may continue it but I'm looking at the spreadsheet that I created and of course the clock has got to start um, what I did is we're gonna wait for the clock and it's gonna ring four times because it's four o'clock okay so what I did is that I put a spreadsheet together with um, and I just talked about it a little bit with how much I paid the maximum I've seen it sold for on eBay uh, or Etsy because um, there's a way on eBay when you look for something um, you can filter the item by completed item and sold so that gives you an idea of how much those things get sold for okay don't go by what people list the items for because I'm telling you somebody's actually trying to get that plate for $150 that's not happening <laughs> I'm sorry that's not happening because um, that would be more than what the plate was way back then and they're not that collectibles um, you know I mean you saw it's like number 26,000 on it so it was like highly produced 
Um, but so don't go by the amount of money people are asking for. If you go on the app for um, eBay, and I'm going to show you real quick. So let's say I'm picking the, uh, let's pick the vegetable dish. Okay, so here's the Tupperware vegetable dish on eBay, right? And if you go right here, this is the eBay app. If you go right here on filter, you can filter here with sold items. All right, and then you click done and it will show you how much people have sold them for. This one was sold a month ago for $25.85. Um, Somebody sold the lid only for $4.20. Here's another one that got sold for $14.99, uh, $14.32, $10, $12, $14, $15, $16, $17, $18, $19, $20, $21, $22, $23, $24, $25, $26, $27, $28, $29, $30, $31, $32, $33, $34, $35, $36, $37, $38, $39, $40, $41, $42